Hey guys, Simply Cola here, and today we are going to be doing our anime Wednesday. And today we're going to be talking about uh, the new fall anime of this year, 2018. If you're from the past, wait, future? You can't be from the past, can you? If you're from the future and watching this, this is for 2018. It should say so in the title. Anyway, that has nothing to do. Why do I get off on these tangents? I know there are so many new animes coming out. I am so excited. There are so many, just so many ones, ones. There are just so many that look great and so many that also don't look great. So I just wanted to give a quick review. Well, it's not a review. I just wanted to give a quick thing quick video, I guess, about some of the anime that I've seen and I know are coming out soon in the next couple of days and weeks and just give you my thoughts. And as always, please definitely subscribe to my channel and give it a like if you like anime and definitely comment down below what your favorite anime that you're looking forward to this season is or what your favorite from last season was because I am still going to do a video about updating the reviews from last season and what reviews you want me to animate what anime you want me to review this coming season. So I'm very excited to get this started and to let you guys know what's coming up. So the first one we are going to talk about is a sword art online alicization. Is that how you say it? I don't know. So this one looks, okay, to be honest, I haven't seen like any like commercials or anything for any of these. So I'm just going based off of the synopsis if I found one or the cover art or just what I know from the series previously. So Sword Art Online is one I have seen before. I saw season one and two. And to be honest, I really only liked season one and a half. I watched the second one and I just didn't like it. And the second half of the first season I thought was kind of stupid. But the first one was great. I loved it, I guess because it was kind of like a new idea or whatever at the time, but now it's kind of done. And I'm not one of those people that like cares if something's been done before. I don't mind if something's been done before. I don't need original ideas all the time, constantly. But what I do want is either a good character, good story, or, you know, an interesting idea. Now it has to have at least one of those things. Otherwise, what's the point of it? It's just boring and dumb. And this show, I feel like the characters never really developed past what they had in the first season. And honestly, I have no idea what's going on. I didn't see any of the spinoffs. I have no idea currently what's happening in the show and I don't really care to. So if you agree with me, give me a thumbs up. Or if you don't, then just leave a comment. Let me know if it got better or if you saw that spinoff with the guns. I don't even remember what it was called, but it just didn't appeal to me. The next one I wanna mention is a fairy tale, the final season. Now, I saw Fairy Tale. I haven't seen all of Fairy Tale. Let's be real. My attention span is like non existent. So, I only saw the first 150 episodes, which for me to see that many episodes is incredible. Okay. I have generally a 70 episode limit <laughs> on things. If you want to check out my review of Black Clover, you can definitely do that, where I kind of describe my attention span and impatience with episodes. But this definitely fits into the category where they have a crap ton of seasons and episodes that I just can't get past because I feel like the story doesn't progress far enough or I'm just bored with the characters because I feel like they aren't developing any differently. They're kind of the same throughout the whole series. But that's a personal problem of mine. I do understand that it's very popular and a lot of people are really into this kind of anime. For me, it's okay in the beginning and I like it but then as it goes on when nothing develops or happens further it's just more of the same series and episodes over and over and over and over again that's not for me the next one that I saw online was a show called Goblin 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 Slayer and this one had kind of cute cover art with this like girl and it looks like one of those like fairy tale RPG sort of um situations where they're like gameplay life sort of thing but not like sword art where they're trapped it looks more just like that's kind of like what the show is about and I like those kinds of shows um Konosaba is definitely my favorite I have a review up here above if you're interested and so I'm kind of interested to see you know what the show is about it's supposed to be about this girl who becomes like she's trying to join like a party or something and I don't know it's I don't think it really matters there was a show called in another world with my smartphone that came out kind of recently that I absolutely hated and not my cup of tea but 
So I'm kind of hoping this isn't like that. I really want this to be more about the characters or it to be, you know, just interesting, I guess. I don't really care, you know, what the plot is. I just want it to be interesting. Character development is great. Interesting characters, you know, an, an original idea. This isn't like an original idea. This is just a girl trapped in, you know, an RPG sort of situation. And, you know, I'm just curious. I want to give it a try. I generally try almost all of these kinds of animes just to see if I'm going to like it just because Konosabot is like my number one. So I am interested and I think it's a go. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. The next one is um, A Certain Magical Index Season 3. And this one I actually was going to do a separate review on for 1 and 2, but it seemed like they had come out so long ago that people probably wouldn't care because I have done reviews of older ones in the past when I run out of um, before I started doing the new episodes because I just wanted to kind of get in the groove of what I was talking about before I started talking about, you know, current stuff. Um, and this one I actually was thinking about doing a review on, so I'm actually really excited the new season is coming out because I really liked the old seasons. I liked one and two. And this is kind of one where I feel like it's going to hit the 70 episode mark and I'm going to get bored again because this one does seem to have a lot of episodes. But I was still very interested at the end of last season. Nothing you know, distracted me from it. And I love the characters. They're also very interesting, but he does have a really warm and kind heart and he genuinely wants to help people, which is, you know, kind of cool. And I don't know. I just, something about it intrigues me. I feel like the relationship he has with Index is a little strange, but honestly, I think the part that most interests me about the whole show is not Index as a character, because I feel like she's kind of boring, but the actual, like, her existence I guess in the world is what's really interesting and also that people have these like powers there's um I can't remember the name off the top of her head because I feel like the last time I saw this show was a long time ago who's electricity girl I don't know her whole backstory was super interesting too I did not watch her series because I never got to it because I got distracted with other things because I was starting to hit my limit of that show. So thank God it took a minute to came out because I'm really psyched to see what happens in the whole world and how science versus religion goes down. Like that's probably the main reason I like the show because it has that kind of aspect in it. And any show that kind of mixes religion and science and like, faux Catholicism and just how other people view religion in general is something that's so interesting to me. I feel like my hands are doing like really weird things this whole video. It's really interesting to me. So I'm very excited to see how all of it turns out. I can't wait to see that one. The next one I want to talk about super quick is called Zombie Land Saga. Now, I don't know anything about this anime and it doesn't seem like a lot of people necessarily do. The write-ups on this one are really short, but it looks like it's just a bunch of girls trapped in a zombie attacked sort of land and they're trying to survive. I don't know. I did enjoy High School of the Dead, which I don't think this is going to be like based off of the photos because they're not very like, you know, boobular, but I don't know. It looks more cutesy or I don't know. We'll see because I think one of the creatures is like a teddy bear or something. I don't know, but I'm very interested to see how this one turns out. Not because of the concept of the show, because I don't really care about zombies in that way. Super interested to see what it's like. I really enjoy High School of the Dead, and I really like the show. It's a comedy called Is This a Zombie? The characters in that one are freaking hilarious. Um, both of those shows are pretty um, boobular, I would say. And when I say boobular, I just mean like, you know, fan service and boobs and that kind of thing. The show, I didn't see any girls with like massive. But again, I'm just looking at the cover art. Like, I don't know anything about the show yet. So, but the reason, sidetrack of all of that, the reason that I was interested in just seeing what the show is about was because the cover art looks exactly like Classroom of the Elite. Did anyone else get that vibe? It looks just like it. And I, I don't know, maybe that's a popular way of doing the cover art for anime. I have no idea. But I really... The reason I want to watch it is because it has the same kind of cover art, so I think maybe it'll be the same kind of quality of story, but you know, you never know that that's true or not. But I really did like that show too. Classroom of the Elite is a kind of a cool show. It's kind of like a, not a mind tricker, but like, it's an interesting show. I mean, nothing like incredibly exciting happens in it, but like, I don't know, it just kind of got to me and I really liked it. Um, the char the main character boy of that show is like freaking, he's good. Not like in a weird, like hot way, but like in a, he's a cool way. I don't know why I said any of that. So 
<laughs> this one I'm gonna try just because I like the art. <laughs> and the last one I want to talk about is called Baku Matsu and this one I am interested in mostly also because of the picture of the show, the cover art of the show. And I did read some preliminary reviews. I didn't actually read any preliminary reviews. I just saw the ratings of some and um, they weren't good. But I am interested to try it. I do want to see what it's like. The cover art kind of intrigues me because it's got like all these different characters, which is kind of cool. But at the same time, that also scares me because do they know what the show is about or are they going to get jumbled and confused and then the show will be about nothing? That scares me the most when they do that. The synopsis that I read online, this is supposed to be about a show that's like a romance of a girl that goes back in time and falls in love or something, which doesn't scream that synopsis to me through the cover art. So that's the part that mostly scares me is that there's a lot of characters. It doesn't scream romance. It screams kind of like fun kid growing up action sort of show, not romance of a girl got trapped back in time sort of show. That is in general all I wanted to talk about today. Like I said, if I missed anything, please let me know. If you guys are interested, I have pretty much every anime I've ever seen in my anime planet. Um, which I'll have a link down below for as well and has I haven't reviewed every anime because that would take an ungodly amount of time because I think it said I've wasted like way too much of my life watching anime but I did like star rate anime so if you are interested you can see if we have similar tastes or not you know it's up to you obviously I'm not in control of you or your computer or anything why does this always get so dark at the end of these videos I don't know so anyway, if if you don't mind my, you know, stupidness, my lack of ability to speak, I don't know. If if you if you're into anime, just forget everything else I said. If you're into anime, then, you know, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. You don't have to like me. Just, you know, thumbs it up, subscribe, that'd be fantastic. And definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments. I definitely want to know what you guys are interested in, what you guys are going to watch, and for the two people that watch this video, just let me know. I'm interested. You know, you watched this video. You made it to the end of the video. My God, that's an accomplishment. Okay. An accomplishment. So I appreciate it. I really do. So thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate, you know, you taking the time and watching this nonsense. And I don't know. I don't really have anything else to say because I, I don't, I don't know. I'm just, you know, always flabbergasted that people subscribe to this channel, but you know, I'm happy. It makes me happy. I hope you guys are happy. And that's about it. I think I've said that four times or, you know, more, but I will see you guys next time in the next anime Wednesday. All right. Bye.